Hey guys, welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. This is Anthony. Today we have the Apple iPhone 5S review. This is the gold model and we'll take a look at it right here on the Gazelle Lab. And today we have the Apple iPhone 5S review. Uh, it took me a little while to get this since I ordered the gold color and it was on a back order for about about three to four weeks it took to get here so that's why you see my 5c review up before my 5s uh like i said this is the gold color this is unlocked uh i ordered the t-mobile unlocked directly from apple uh, 16 gigabytes 649 dollars and like i said it took three to f about four weeks to come almost since uh since i pre-ordered it on september 20th i received it about last week from this video going up so I thought I'd get into the review real quick. Uh, in terms of size, shape, and feel, it's exactly like the iPhone 5, which came out last year, and I actually have that for you right here. So in terms of size, weight, everything exactly the same, 123 by 58 by 7.66 uh, thin, millimeters thin, and they're both you know 112 grams, same exact thing. So this is the difference in terms of this is a black iPhone from last year, you know, so we'll get back to the review, just want to let you know, you know, it is the same exact size, same weight, same everything. Uh, same exact screen too, so you're going to still get the 640 by 1136 4-inch uh, 326 PPI retina display. Uh, you know, it looks very nice, but it is pretty much, it is the exact same display as uh, last year, last year's model, and the same one we covered on the 5C. Uh, so let's get back to the hardware, power button on the side, uh, nano SIM card slot, the bottom, you got uh, a lightning connector, headphone jack, speaker grills, uh, power bu a volume up and down, and then the mute and the lock orientation switch. Uh, on the front, you have the the 1.2 megapixel front camera, and you have the new home button with Touch ID. Uh, so let's let's demo that real quick. So when it's locked, and when I unlock it, instead of putting now it's going to require me to pa put a password in, what I do is just put my thumb there. And it's locked. So I'll show you that in the setting menu. You go to general, uh, passcode and fingerprint. It's going to ask me to put my password in real quick. That you're required to. And there you go. This so it has all your fingerprints, uh, passcode unlock. You can turn it on or off, uh, and you can store all your fingerprints. If I want to add one, I can even add one for my index finger. Uh, effect out of that right now. Uh, so like I said. Uh, not much in terms of hardware features, physical hardware features over the 5, but what, what you do get is what actually really counts. You get the new 64-bit uh, processor, the A7 chip from Apple. It's a 1.3 uh, dual-core chip. It's actually made by Samsung, and it's extremely fast uh, compared, to the older, compared to the older model and even compared to the, to the 5C. So... Just by, if you look, just going through all the menus, you want to open up stuff, apps, this is obviously iOS 7, really nice, really quick, probably the fastest iPhone so far. Uh, other features, you know, GPS, Bluetooth, Maps, uh, iBooks, everything's still packed in there. Uh, and then you get the, the new M7 coprocessor, which handles all your motion uh, and accelerometer apps. So a lot of power packed into, into, the, into the new 5S, and most of the new features are brought on just from, from iOS, uh, iOS 7. Uh, so like I said, you, know, you still have Notification Center, everything else is still there, uh, which is nice. Uh, let's get into uh, the camera on the back. So this is the new uh, 8 megapixel camera, their eyesight camera. Uh, autofocus it's got the new dual led flash so that's a little improvement as i'll bring back the 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 five so you can see right there on the top here you have a dual flash and on the five just a single led flash so this true tone is, is said to produce you know more accurate colors more light coming in uh, it's got a new sensor it's got the the f 2.2 sensor over last year's uh, sensor which allows i think 25 percent more light in uh, it's got simultaneous HD video and image recording, uh, touch focus, face detection, HDR panorama, HDR photo. A lot of a lot of great stuff in the camera. A lot of great stuff in this camera software. So let's try some pictures here. Uh, I'll put this down. I'll put my watch down this time. I'll show you some uh, what kind of quality you can expect from this thing. 
so you just touch the focus right here. I don't need the flash in here because there's so much light. Okay, so there's there's the picture quality. Really nice picture, so really good quality. So if you head up over to the re if you head up to my review on the horn, I'm gonna show you the the camera quality compared to the 5C and uh, last year's iPhone 5. I took a whole bunch of these pictures and I put them up on our blog, so make sure you check out the, the complete iPhone 5S review over on the blog. Uh, other than that, the last but not least, let's get into uh, battery life. Battery life, it's giving you the same battery life, although you are getting a, a bigger battery compared to the, the iPhone 5. So you're getting a, a 1560 mAh battery, uh, and it's still gonna give you 250 hours of standby, uh, 10, hour, 10 hours of uh, talk time, both on 2G and 3G, and up to 40 hours of music play. So last year's battery, I think, was a 1440, and it offered the same specs. Uh, so this year you're getting a bigger battery, but you're getting the same specs, and that's the battery consumption is probably due to the the 64-bit chip. Uh, so you know it is more powerful, same screen and same display, uh, better camera, uh, more colors, and of course Touch ID. Uh, is it worth it? Uh, that's a big question right now. If you're coming from a five, you're really not going to see besides the speed performances, Touch ID, and the camera. Other than that, you're not going to notice too many too many differences or too many uh, enhancements. It, you know, it is faster, but if you're coming from an iPhone 4 or 4S, anything, pretty much anything below a 5, it's, uh, it's definitely a huge improvement. Uh, that being said, you know, should you upgrade? I think a lot of iPhone 5 owners who are, you know, Apple fans, diehard Apple fans, I think they'll enjoy this, uh, this upgrade. Really good upgrade, a lot of good enhancements. Anyone below, a f anyone below a 5, like I said, definitely. But people with a 5 who are the casual users, Perhaps the 5S is you know, not a necessary update, but still a great update. I uh, hope you enjoyed my review of the Apple iPhone 5S. Thanks.